my name is David Miller and I'm president of Insects Limited. And what I'd like to do today is help you to be able to put your traps together, talk a little bit about the pheromone traps for Indian meal moth, and then what to expect from them. When the boxes arrive, it'll have 10 traps, 10 lures, and a hanger for you to be able to put this up. Let's assemble one of them. This is the sticky pheromone trap. Be careful not to get your fingers in there. Use soap or water to be able to remove it if you do get that on there. We put the traps together by putting the creases on the inside, both insides together. Then I place the twist tie inside of it for a hanger. And now you have a, a trap here that's ready to be hung. And then finally we take one of the lures out of the packet itself, pop this out, and place this on the inside of the trap. Try not to get glue on the membrane on the end of the, the lure. After we've put the trap together, it's important now to be able to put the date that it's placed. That will help you then know when the lure is spent. The lures last for 60 days, and at the end of 60 days, then it won't be catching any of the insects anymore. This is designed for the Indian meal moth, which is the insect that's most popular throughout the United States and most of the world that attacks food products like bird seed and popcorn and grain-based products. I place these traps near those places where they're suspect, some place where high, where the insects can find it, you can put it from the ceiling. Uh, I would keep it off the floor itself. It could be a pantry, it could be a warehouse, uh, it could be anywhere. They work from about a 50 foot radius and they'll pull the insects, the adult males, into the trap. Now finally, after I've placed the traps out, I check it on a weekly basis to see what I have in it. I will write right on the trap what I found or you can keep it on a separate piece of paper. And if you see population growth or increase of activity, you know that there is some type of uh, hatch going on or more insects being brought into the area itself. We normally get about three to five generations of Indian meal moth per year, and this is something you'll see sudden increases of activity. The last important step is to be able to wash your hand from the pheromone. This is a very active pheromone and it will get on your hands. So I, I take soap and water, I just scrub them real good for about 20 seconds, and then at that point the pheromone will be removed. I hope this has been helpful for you today to learn about how to use the Indian meal moth traps, and thank you for listening.